Hello everyone and welcome back. Dracker Kelly Thin here with an update, rambling and announcement video. Yes, three topics in one video. So let's just jump straight in. As you can see, the plate armor, it looks different, quite different. We got some nice paint on it. We got a really nice paint job. As well as we now got sabatons, we got new shoulders and new plate arms. As well as technically under quote marks in new helmet. The helmet is now actually all one year approximately. So it's nothing new, but as well it got a black and copper paint which looks so damn nice. But you're now also probably asking yourself, why are you wearing the suit of armor? And the problem is Austria just got struck uh, three days ago uh, with another heat wave, which still, as of today, uh, will last uh, another one and a half weeks. So, the prop up that video will be delayed about, like I said, one and a half to two weeks because it's. We have now. 27.3 degrees outside at 72% humidity at just early in the morning at uh, 9.38 a.m. So it makes it unbearable even standing behind the camera. It's it's getting hotter as of today. It's warming up again. So that's why I'm not going to wear a suit of armor as of now. I will, as I said, make a prop up that with a promise. It will come as the... Uh, weather normalized, but I'm giving a just a, a small update video that way. So, anyways, as I said, we got new shoulders, sabatons, and uh, new arms, and everything got basically painted in uh, black and copper paint. The rivets got, as you can see, uh, copper paint, and the stripes are now made in black, and it looks so great. It really makes it pop up. It really, it really honestly makes the metal uh, part of the armor really pop out and uh, shine. It's, to be honest, it makes it a bit more aggressive and actually uh, more shiny, is that a thing? Yeah, basically, uh, it makes it uh, more aggressive uh, in terms of, if you think, as a warrior brain. And also it makes it uh, basically suit for maybe a paladin, but I'm not going to will, uh, so I'm not <laughs> want to get associated with paladins because I think they're just all crazy. But that's <laughs> just uh, one other thing, I digress. So, anyways... Uh, that's uh, the things updated at uh, uh, on the plate armor uh, side of things, and I'm will going to get new grease. They are fine, with everything. Uh, but the real problem is uh, they are pressing without sabatons. They're pressing against the top of my foot, and that's smallish annoying. But also, I want to get closed uh, uh, grease because they look actually way more nice with really a full suit of plain armor, especially when you wear uh, things like foot armor as well, so yeah. So that's the small-ish update on the plate armor. Oh, also I can just zoom right back in. As you can see, I got a new LARP sword, as well as a new LARP dagger, so just let me now zoom out completely. And the dagger is that one. I will review both in uh, detail in uh, upcoming videos. And yeah, that's uh, it for the plate armor sides of things. And the basically announcement part is actually I'm planning of uh, getting another lab character, or actually making another lab character. And uh, now the next lab character actually will be a Chaos Warrior. Yes, again, a melee fighter, really. Yes, will probably, maybe I'm going to make a ranged character, a ranged combat uh, a character, maybe even Elfin Char. I probably don't think so. Maybe it will be just another, uh, basically, uh, a human with uh, just 
light armor. Maybe I'm actually going to uh, use the scale armor for uh, the ranged combat one. But anyway, uh, for the Chaos Warrior, I'm going to get another suit of leather armor, uh, dyed in uh, black and red. And yes, if you are triggered by having spikes on armor, as you can see here, you will get triggered with the Chaos Warrior because the Chaos Warrior will have spikes. Not lots of spikes, but it will have spikes. And I'm planning to basically, as I said, uh, get a uh, black and red dyed leather armor, which has uh, blood red dyed uh, spikes running down the spine, which I have seen a couple of other leather armor armors doing the same thing, and it looks really amazing. It makes it some, uh, it makes it looking dead and really chaotic. It really looks damn great, to be honest. And with the red and uh, red on black it makes it pop that much more so that's really something I will go into, uh, to get so yeah that's basically it for today still hope you enjoyed uh, the minimal update video as I said weather is just it's 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 killing every video I want to do because it's just way too hot so as I said still hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video, in the next proper video, which I'm going, where I'm going to wear that suit of armor and probably going to review the sword and dagger in uh, that video because why not? I'm actually wearing the suit of armor, I'm probably clothed anyways. So, <laughs> now I'm finally signing off. Bye.